Hi everybody, uh, so this quick video I'm going to be just kind of showing you how to use the video analysis uh, motion tracking uh, uh, app. So here's the link I went to it. I'm going to open the app now. Uh, everybody should be able to open the app. You're probably not going to get an error like this. Don't worry about this. Um, so, but you're going to uh, select the local file. So select the file to the file that you've downloaded. Um, so let's see, I think I got it on my desktop here. Here we go. Toss in a vacuum filter. So I'm gonna do that. And take a little bit to load up, of course. Um, so name your project something. Project. It's pretty fancy, right? Um, I would stick to all the defaults that you got right here. Uh, my frame rate is 30 and all this other stuff, so I'm gonna stick to the defaults. Um, now, so here's your video. First thing you wanna do is take your axis and drag it. I typically like to drag my axis to the lower right so that uh, everything kinda happens in the positive area up here uh, uh, like this. You also want to, here's a meter stick. So I'm gonna establish how long that is and I'm gonna go up here where it's got uh, this icon here. Uh, this icon says create scale. So I'm gonna click on that to create a scale. Sure, that'll be the color for creating the scale. And you want to uh, click on the top of the meter stick and then you wanna click on the bottom of the meter stick like that and then it'll create this length and it'll say how, how big is that basically and I'll say one meaning one meter and I hit enter and there you go it says oh that's one meter right there great um, so then next up is uh, I want to so my mouse is now down in this lower uh, triangle section so I'm gonna bring I'm gonna drag uh, you gotta drag the triangle so drag the triangle um, uh, for some reason it doesn't let me drag the bar oh it let me drag the bar how about that <laughs> so I'm dragging the triangle and you want it, you want to start it just after it's left my hand. So about there is pretty good. Um, honestly, any time after, uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's good. That's good at kind of where you want it right there to start. Where to stop, it doesn't really matter because once you, once you stop clicking, then it'll be done. Um, okay, so now to collect data, I'm going to go over here where it says create new track. So I'll create new track uh, and I'll name this, I don't know, filter create. So now it's saying that I'm tracking this with this color is going to be filter. And what you want to do is hold shift. When you hold shift, you see how this became a little uh, uh, crosshairs icon. And then you can, can click on. So and be patient because uh, the, but if you saw the frame rate just moved. If I click again, oh, the frame just moved. And I got two data points right there already, already written down. I can click again, the frame just moved. Click again, the frame moved. Frame moved. Uh, and I'm clicking on the object the whole time. I'm just clicking in the center of the object. Um, and be patient, wait for the frame to move because sometimes it, it gets a, there's a little bit of lag. But I, I, really if you click anywhere that and, and just are consistent, some people like using the middle, some people use the bottom, the top. But wherever you choose, just make sure you're consistent. So I'm gonna keep clicking, clicking, and you don't want to watch me keep clicking the whole time. So I'm going to cut to uh, me being done with uh, some of this stuff. So uh, here we go. All right. Uh, so here's uh, uh, me being done. For whatever reason, it's only showing me these last three data points, but I am seeing them all being written down here. Uh, uh, so that's good. That's pretty much what I want. All you got to do now is uh, highlight all this, copy it, copy it so make sure you highlighted all of it copy it and then go over here uh, go over to Google Sheets where you can then uh, uh, paste all your data so um, I would make though columns so let's see this will be it's uh, it goes time in seconds horizontal position in meters and then vertical position in meters although you guys are going to use you guys are going to post this in the sheets that I provide for you on the assignment um, and then you're gonna paste. So I pasted all my data right there. Um, and let's first graph. So uh, I'll paste over here the time and then as well as uh, position. So there's my vertical position versus time. I can graph that, I'll highlight it. Go to the graphing, so insert chart. 
And remember, you want uh, uh, vertical position versus time. Um, I would probably write these out more. Write it out as time. Don't leave it as T. Write this out as vertical position. Don't leave it just Y. Um, yeah, be a little more detailed. And as you can see, it's making a curve. So I can do a curve fit. Uh, so series, trend line. And so I'm going to do a curve fit because it's definitely not looking like a line. So I want to use my equation, show our square value. And I don't want linear. I want polynomial. Uh, so something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. Now, uh, what I want you to do also is you're going to make a, so again, I'm going to copy time and throw time over here. I want you now also to do a velocity in meters per second. That's vertical velocity. So vertical velocity. So the velocity in the y direction. Uh, uh, the velocity in the y direction. And using this data. So try and see if you can figure it out yourself. I'm going to post a video later that's going to show you how to do it. But uh, try to see if you can figure it out yourself. So that's how you do this. Um, again, with this lab, you're doing a vertical position versus time graph, a vertical velocity versus time graph, and a horizontal position versus time graph. So uh, three graphs you should make out of that. OK, I uh, hope that helped. And see you. Bye.